Assalamualaikum and hello My name is Arif Akmal and today we are going to talk about football Football is my passion I live, breathe and sleep football and football is the biggest game on earth and also on our beloved country Malaysia Malaysia football just recently reached the cloud nine when JDT managed to top their Asian Champions League group but in reality we are far from being the best currently up to May 2022 according to FIFA ranking we are the 154th team ranked in the world comparing to other ASEAN country we are behind Vietnam Thailand Philippines and surprisingly Myanmar but today I'm going to dissect on why our national team hasn't been performing very well so for my first point I'm not going to talk about what is happening on the field but I'm going to talk about what is happening behind the scene okay my first point is professionalism in 2009 Malaysian football advocate about integrity but ironically in 2022 reports about club not paying players wages has been a monthly reoccurrence professionalism is important to our league why because when we have reports of players with place doesn't get their wages it can give a bad reputation to our league when we have a bad reputation no investor want to invest in our league when no investor want to invest in our league the team competing in the league will not be as competitive as the rich one uh, when we have non-competitive team our players cannot grow when our players cannot grow we're gonna see the same sets of player play for the national team including the players that sit on the bench on the bigger club okay so professionalism is important if you want to be owner of a football club in Malaysia make sure you go all out and pay the place wages and make sure you fix the facility at the club so that we can improve the performance of our national team your team and also we can see a lot of talent coming playing for the national team my second point is I'm going to talk about place development back in 2014 Asia opened their Academy Moktadahari this academy is to nurture the next line of talent for Malaysian football the famous graduates from AMD or Academy Motadari is Loman Hakim which is currently playing in KV Cottage and also Arif Aiman which, which is the starman for JDT so for my first problem with AMD is where will the graduates go when their contract ends back in 2022 Selangor signed 28 AMD players if we go back to the opening season uh, of this 2021 season most of AMD players will go to either JDT or Selangor but what happened to the others my second problem with AMD is when they are signed to Selangor or JDT what is happening to the talent in that state what happened to the players from Sekolah Sukan Negeri what is the solution for this uh, problem in my opinion every team in Malaysia needs to have their own academy this academy ranging from the age of 8 which is the grassroots up to the age of 23 this method has been done in England if we have a Liga Super and Liga Premier for the age group of under 23 and also under 17 the national coach for under 23 and under 17 can get a larger talent pool to see their playlist this approach can strengthen the core of our national team because we have players young players eager to play for the national team and also we are not going to see the same sets of player playing for Malaysia okay so that's my two points on how we want to improve our national team that's all from me thank you and i hope that one day i can see malaysian national team play in the world cup that's all from me thank you